front, and uh, they work well together as a unit. So, you know, it's it's a tough task. We got our job cut out for us. Lots of folks talking about the environment and just kind of playing in that stadium. You were there on the home side and obviously had an advantage there. What was it like for visiting teams having to come there and play? Well, it's not an easy place to play. Um, their fans are tremendous. They support the team, and um, a Sunday night game especially will be a big deal. But, uh, you know, for us, we've had a couple of those this year. And uh, so I think, you know, as a player, even as a coach, this is what you want. You, you relish the opportunity to play in these kind of situations against a good football team in a loud environment. And, uh, you know, we've had a couple this year of those loud environments, and, and we've done okay. I'm sure there'll be some tough spots, but at least our guys are – it's not the first time that we're going in. So, But it's a great atmosphere. Coach Justin Jackson had seven carries and 50 some yards. Where have you seen this growth the most from when – start of the season – well, I think Anthony's done a great job of really staying on him. You know, he when we picked him late in the draft, uh, one of the things that stood out was his production from college. And, you know, we didn't see as much of that maybe in the OTAs and in training camp. He was nicked up a little bit. Uh, but he made a roster. He did enough to make the roster. And then he's really been doing a good job on the scout team, you know, and, and that's a credit to him. And, you know, if you ever wanted to have a model for this is why you work, on those teams to prepare you, it showed up last week. Because when he had to go in there, you know, I, I, we haven't seen that in a game. We haven't seen him run like that. We haven't seen him make those moves. You see it in practice, but you just don't know that that's really what it's going to be like in a game. So uh, credit to him. Like I said, he works. he's worked hard. But Alfredo and Coach have been on him constantly. And, uh, you know, I think that they saw some talent in him. So hopefully he can replicate that again this week. I think that it'll be a mix between both of those guys. I don't think that, uh, you know, with the way it is now in the league, you, you have a number of different guys that you play through. I'm, I shouldn't say a number. You have a couple that, that you do. And, I mean, you know, we, we, went through, we went on last week after Melvin got hurt and just kept going and still had a rotation with him. So there'll be, there'll be some. There'll be a rotation. What does Justin do pretty well out there in the backfield? Well, you know, that's what we're still finding out a little bit about. It was our first real chance to see him be a runner, and he did a nice job with that. He's shown up uh, on the practice field in space doing some of those things, and, uh, you know, we liked what we've seen. But, listen, it's different when you go from just practicing to being in the game. So he handled it well. But this, you know, this will be a, a different environment for him. That was at home. This will be on the road with the noise, with – a good football team, so it'll be a challenge, but we're excited to see how he performs. Wiz, does the offense change with, with Gordon not available? How do you adjust? Well, I mean, you know, I don't know necessarily that it changes. You, uh, I mean, Austin has been playing in it and doing a nice job. When Melvin goes out, it doesn't change our offense. You know, some of the things that we did with both of those guys was, you know, probably would change a little bit just because you don't have Melvin and you don't have Austin at the same time, but um, you know, I think we feel a little bit more comfortable about where we are now after getting JJ some practice last week. So we we go forward with what we've been doing, and hopefully it, it uh, you know will pay off for us. Well? Yeah, Detrez does as well. I mean, I think that uh, he he had a really good preseason, and we liked him. He made our team and and has done some nice things, and we're definitely comfortable with with Detrez. So. He can. Uh, he got in the game a little bit last week, and he's gotten some reps in practice. So, you know, kind of the, with the way that situation is with running back, you got to have three of them, and he certainly is. There's a comfort level with him as well. There was some talk about the play that Melvin got injured on, or the, the reverse, which you guys really haven't ran all season. What was the thought behind running that at that point in the game? Well, that's something we've had in for a couple of weeks. We've practiced, and it's something that Melvin liked. We wanted to do. Um, it's something that ties in. One of the things that we've done really well this year is we've tied plays in together. You know, we've built off of different plays. That was built off of another play, you know, which we've moving him in space and getting him in space. And he's shown to be pretty good. And it was just unfortunate that the player for the Cardinals just happened to blow it up. And, you know, we made a mistake up front. And he came through. And it was a freak thing, you know. And that kind of situation, we were trying to establish the fact that we were – 
going to keep our foot on the gas. We were going to make sure that we were staying with it. And those were one of the that was one of the plays. Like I said, we've carried it for a couple of weeks. We felt like it was a good play. It was a chance to get Melvin. We thought in space, which he's been very good at. And you know, it's, we're just this, we're certainly disappointed that that happened. But um, it could very easily have turned into a big play, like like the one against Oakland, where he went for you know thirty or forty yards, and we'd all be real happy. So it's just. That's the way this game works sometimes. Coach, you saw some of the wideouts make some really strong catches on the boundary. What can you speak to their job of doing those hard catches, and how much can you really replicate that in, in practice and just to get the footwork down? Well, I know you guys don't really see it, but if you've ever watched our pregame workout routine, we focus on getting that done on game day. We do it, we do it out here in practice, but that's one of the things as part of warming up and part of doing the – uh, our pregame drills that we do. In fact, it was funny last week. It's really kind of ironic that one of the officials was out there warming up, and um, Phil said, "Phil, our receiver coach said, hey, why don't you want to watch this? You can get a, you know, you can get your eyes working to see if we get our feet down.' So we did some of those drills before the game, and then it paid off. So uh, you know, those are things that you do in camp, you do in OTAs. Uh, you know, people say, "Okay, why do you do those drills?" Well, that was a good example of why. Score 40 points per game kind of feels that way. But this game was against the Steelers and the Chargers kind of so it could be like a shootout. Are you kind of eager to show that you guys have one of the best offenses in the league? I think we just want to play well and have a chance to win. If it's if it's three to two, because um, it could actually be two to one. I mean, there's a special rule that if you ball comes out of the end zone by the defense and then goes back in, it's a one point safety. But I don't care what it is as long as we get a chance to win. Was your name has been mentioned at your alma mater as a potential candidate for that head coaching job. Um, are you interested in that job, and have you been contacted? You know, to, Eric, to be honest with you, I, I heard about that when I walked off the field yesterday. I had no idea. I had no idea that I was really a candidate for that. And, um, you know, I'm certainly flattered that people think that, but focus right now is, is really on the Steelers. You know, in this business, if you've been in it, and um, those, those kind of things happen. But, uh, you know, right now it's really more about this game. I, I've been so busy from when that happened yesterday. I haven't even had a chance to think about it. So, you know, I'm I'm honored that my name would be mentioned, but right now it's really more about the Steelers. Distraction. Absolutely. I don't I don't have any interest in it being a distraction whatsoever. Thanks, Wes. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.